All right, everybody, welcome back to Wrestling Rants Reviews. This is Big Mike, and this is your day of wrestling history. That's right, yet again, I'm bringing you another, that's right, another episode. And, uh, well, let's just get at it, shall we? June the 14th, this is your day in pro wrestling history. Uh, a little trivial tidbit, you know, the useless knowledge, we always started with those. and uh, It always seems to be about this, the IWGP League. Damn, this sh this damn tournament must take place every day, every fucking year. I'm telling you. Always talking about the league. And I still don't know what the fuck it is. Too lazy to check it out. <clears throat> you guys should leave a comment below if you guys don't know what the hell it is. What is the IWGP League? Is it a tournament? A tournament for what? You know, I don't get it. But anyway, in 1984, Antonio Noki wins the IWGP League. You know, 1987, Antonio Inoki wins the New Japan Pro Wrestling on WGP League. Defeating Masato, or Mas Maso Saito. You know? Um, <laughs> so, I don't know, it was always going on and on. In 1993, we got the Pegasus Kid, who was just uh, Chris Benoit under a hood in 1993. He wins the New Japan Pro Wrestling top of the Super Juniors Tournament, defeating Al Samurai in the final. 2009, you got Koji Kanemoto. Winning the New Japan Pro Wrestling Best of the Super Junior Tournament, defeating Prince Devitt in the final. So there you go, over the useless knowledge and trivia there. Um, some different things being won uh, in history. But uh, let's move to the events that took place on this day, shall we? Uh, 1989, NWA Clash of the Champions 7, Guts and Glory was held in Fort Bragg, <coughs> North Carolina. On this day, we've seen Terry Gordy fight Steve Williams to a double countout draw. Uh, Sting defeats Bill Irwin to retain the NWA television title. The fabulous Freebirds, Jimmy Garvin and Michael Hayes, defeat the Midnight Express, Bobby Eaton, and Stan Lane to win the vacant N NWA World Tag Team titles. Um, and also on this day, we see Ricky Steamboat defeat Terry Funk by DQ. In 1998, WCW's Great American Bash was once again held in Baltimore, Maryland. Must have been a yearly pay-per-view there. Uh, must have been. Had to have been. But anyways, we see Booker T defeat Chris Benoit in the best of seven series, uh, winning four to three. We see Chris Jericho defeat Dean Malenko by DQ to win the WCW Cruiserweight title, which was vacant. Uh, we got Booker T, I guess he's wrestling again on the pay-per-view. He defeats Finn Finley to win the WCW television title. Goldberg defeats Conan to retain the WCW television, I mean, United States Championship. Hollywood Hulk Hogan and Bret Hart defeat Roddy Piper and Randy Savage. Why Randy Savage and Piper, I end up fighting because we got Roddy Piper defeating Randy Savage later in the pay-per-view. And in the main event, Sting defeats the Giant to win control of the WCW World Tag Team titles. Sting goes on to choose Kevin Nash as his tag team partner. The title changes on this day in wrestling history. In 1970... We see Fritz von Erich defeating Boris Malenko to win the World Class Championship Wrestling American Heavyweight title. 1982, Fritz von Erich defeats King Kong Bunny in a fall count anywhere match to win the World Class Championship American Heavyweight title. Von Erich then retires immediately after this match. Now, 1993 on Raw, the Steiner Brothers, Rick and Scott, that's right, defeat Money Inc., Teddy Biasi, and Erwin R. Scheister to win the WWF Tag Team titles. 1995, Koji Kanemoto defeats Sabu to retain the UWA welterweight title and win the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title. 2009, Yon Akiyama vacates the GHC Heavyweight title due to injury. Go Shizaki then defeats Takeshi Riki to win the vacant title. And last year, just last year, 2010, on Raw, The Miz defeats R-Truth. Zack Ryder and John Morrison to win the WWE United States title. And that's it. I don't see any birthdays for today unless we can sneak one out of Facebook. Let's have a quick look. And birthdays for today is nobody except for you and you and you. You might be having a birthday out there in the YWC. And if so, hopefully you have a good day and a great year to come. And that's me for uh, Rascal and Ransom Reviews. You know, thanks for your time, because my two cents is worth a dime.